Persuasive paragraph. Persuasive paragraphs are written as if the writer is attempting to convince their audience to adopt a new belief or behavior. You can write a persuasive paragraph to make an effective argument and convince your reader of the point you're making. Persuasive paragraphs take a stand on an issue. Simply having an argument or viewpoint about a topic is not enough. In persuasive paragraphs, you must also support your claims. You need to support your arguments with appropriate evidence, such as quotations, examples, expert opinions, and other facts. Parts of a paragraph. There are three main parts of a persuasive paragraph: the topic sentence, the body sentences, and the concluding or transition sentence. The topic sentence of a supporting paragraph should clearly state the topic of the paragraph and make a connection to the thesis statement of your overall paper. The topic sentence is usually at the beginning of the persuasive paragraph. For example, the strength of a body paragraph lies in its organization. This sentence is trying to convince you of something. The body of the paragraph includes the supporting evidence, such as a quotation, examples, or any information to help persuade. If you use a quotation, follow it with an explanation of the quotation and its significance. Here's an example of what that looks like in the body of a paragraph. It starts with the support for the topic. According to the Bedford Handbook, the body of the essay develops support for the thesis, so it's important to have at least a tentative thesis before one starts writing. Hacker, 38. Now we explain the quote. As this quote suggests, it is hard for a writer to support his or her thesis in a body paragraph before the thesis has been developed. Thus, it is critical to decide upon a thesis before starting to compose the body or support of an essay. Now we explain why the quote is significant. Writing an essay in this order will ensure that the body paragraph argues the point that the writer is trying to make. You can include multiple quotes in one paragraph as long as they all support your topic sentence. The concluding or transition sentence at the end of the paragraph should restate the main point as a way to conclude the paragraph. Remember, the reader is not as aware of the ideas as the writer is, so it is your responsibility as the writer to keep the reader on track by restating the main idea from the beginning of the paragraph at the end. For example, although organization is essential to the effectiveness of a body paragraph, there are other factors that contribute to its overall strength. Let's review. The topic sentence should clearly state the topic of the paragraph and make a connection to the thesis. The body of the paragraph includes the supporting evidence, such as a quotation or examples, followed by an explanation of the quotation and its significance. The concluding or transition sentence should restate the main point. These elements make up a persuasive paragraph.